What is a data pipeline? Why do we use them to move data around? And what role do they play in the data ecosystem? These questions are central to the way that data impacts organizations and our lives. And to answer them, we have to take a step back and ask another question. Why do we use data at all? And what does it take to make data useful to us? The answer lies not in the data itself, but in its usefulness to the organization. In the data world, usefulness typically comes down to one thing, insights. Data that creates insights that businesses take action on is useful. Data that does not create actionable insights is not useful. So how do you get data that's useful? Well, it doesn't start out that way. Instead, it's the result of a lot of work that painstakingly transforms data from its initial, raw state into a final, consumable one. That's where data pipelines come in. The term data pipeline really just describes the process of turning raw data into consumable data, and in turn, unusable data to usable data. How do data pipelines do this? You can think of the process a little bit like baking bread. To bake bread, you start with the raw grain. Like raw data, it contains everything you need to make bread, but it isn't ready yet. It needs to be ground down and transformed into flour. Data also undergoes a transformation process that creates a normalized, standard structure. Just like flour, this transformation is a necessary first step in the process, but the job isn't finished just because you have the flour. The next step is to use the output of the flour, in our case structured data, to create a finished consumable data set. Bread in our example. Structured data is loaded into a finished state where it can be consumed through queries, BI tools, or other methods. As you might imagine, along the way this process can become complicated and managing data pipelines is often a full-time job for data engineers who need to constantly monitor the structure of incoming data sources and determine how to properly structure the new data. For data warehouses, this is typically done before the data enters the warehouse. For data lakes using schema on read, data is added first and structure is added later. In either case, data pipelines are critical to making sure that data moves from its unusable, raw state to its usable, finished state. It's this final state that lets businesses make change using data to help drive organizational change and value. And that is what data pipelines are truly all about.